This is a perfect example of why you shouldn't quit when things are going bad in the first quarter. I always get opponents that quit that could be such potential of good games. However, with that being said, Deshaun Watson first snap right here trying to make something out of nothing and I end up throwing a pick to Jackson number four. Now, I'm sorry Bear fans, I don't know who that is but he bought out. Regardless need to say man, ah, this game man, I'm gonna just let things unfold. However, things do not go right. With that being said, Deshaun Watson, I've been seeing a lot of rumors of him getting traded to the Dolphins. There's just a bunch of articles and a bunch of people making stuff on this videos. I don't know, man. Look, I just got, I have a Tua jersey. And it kind of hurts me to say that, of course, bringing in Deshaun Watson will be a, a very big blaster move. But I think we're smarter than that. Now, as much as I love Deshaun Watson and as much as I know he's going to be a good quarterback wherever he goes, and I feel like Deshaun Watson coming to Miami will be something that maybe could ignite. Now, I've also seen that Stephon Ross wants to bring in Deshaun Watson because, of course, Ross, the owner of the Dolphins, I'm sure he's had his fair trades of bad moments and fair trades of good moments, but he's never had that exciting year the way Patrick Mahomes have, the way... Russell Wilson has had and right here once again another interception things aren't looking good and my opponent look I'm gonna get back to that Deshaun Watson conversation my opponent right here hey do your thing high step into the end zone he ends up going for the two-point conversion as well and I'm just like okay very interesting I'm not one of those players that quit if you start bullying me if you start doing this and that and nothing against people that quit, but I'm saying do not quit because games like this are one of the best games because you never know what can happen. Right here, Deshaun Watson bombs it up to Miller in a very good play right here because this is a momentum swing big time. Now, as you guys can see the previous plays and the previous possessions, my opponent never really had a successful drive along down the field and right here, a touchdown to Miller. And what I'm trying to get at is that we actually have to drive downfield. Me, it was just making bad reads, throwing an interception for a pick six. And me, boneheaded mistake as well, going for the two-point conversion. My my kind of, not anger, but my, I don't know how to explain it, but my ego was like, I got to go for the two-point conversion. Anyways, yeah, I was going back to that Deshaun Watson. Yes, yeah, so Stephon Ross, have patience, man, with Tua. I love Tua. He's the guy. I honestly truly believe that this year right here is going to be a big jump for him. I just hope we make the playoffs. But with that being said, Deshaun Watson, where is he going to land at? Is he even going to play this year? I don't know. And look at this throw by Nick Foles. A very interesting start to say for Nick Foles and these Bears because you would think Justin Fields, I mean, the speed he has, the amount of momentum you can bring with a, a fast quarterback with 90 speed and Eric Reed right here user pick give me that let's freaking do it an interception to the house let's get it and just like I said do not quit so just like that it's just a one possession game and of course I gotta go for the two-point conversion but yeah so I feel like a lot of teams that are desperate will honestly just jump into a next quarterback oh the next superstar and i've seen that already with a lot of teams already i'm not gonna mention them but i've been seeing it and it's just like okay it is what it is but right here on the fourth and 13 defense is coming in strong nick Foles snaps the ball a very questionable decision to go for and nick Foles has no time in the pocket now the reason why this this game plays all over the place right now with me and topics is because the ending i'm just like why are you doing this? Come on, man. And it's very unfortunate because rock out, rock out. I'm a rock star. Deshaun Watson right here running inside the touchdown. Hold on. Yes. Rock and roll. Play the riff. Do your thing, Deshaun Watson. Let's go. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. It's like really, it's like 2 in the morning. I'm tired as heck. But I really wanted to get this video out. And look at this throw right here to Tariq Cohen, a very fast running back. But yes, like I was saying. This game, man, it had potential. You guys are seeing it right here. There's just a lot of stuff going on heading into the fourth quarter. My opponent wasn't really getting much going. And I said fourth quarter. I meant to say the end of the first half. My, po my opponent wasn't really getting much going. Again, with Nick Foles, it's just like you would expect Justin Fields, right? With the amount of success he's been having. With that speed, too. And just 
another bad read yeah but my opponent trying to get something going with Nick Foles is not getting nothing going and just like that we get the ball back we were down two touchdowns and just like that we take the lead and look at this play right here nothing right there to David Johnson but like I was saying man well, I'm gonna say this right here with all due respect okay I'm not even minding this gameplay no more I hate sore losers man <laughs> I don't like to say that because I'm a very humble person. I don't like to talk smack a lot. But this guy is a sore loser, man. And I'm just saying it with all due respect. And I know it's not a, it's not something you can say with respect, but this is a sore loser right here. He does something that just doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, why did you do this? You're the one that's showboating. You're the one that's going for these two-point conversions. You're the one that's doing this and that all right it is what it is so at this point you can see he stops trying but just wait a minute wait a minute now we get a touchdown with Jay Archer he comes out and starts spiking the ball and then my game freezes very unfortunate I would have loved to bring the entire gameplay Texan fans I got you guys on the next one and also, if you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment your favorite team. And we end up taking the nail because my game froze. But as always, have a great day.